Good morning. It's personal injury attorney David Gordon in Memphis, Tennessee, and today we're talking about property damage. This is the eighth in a series of talks I'm doing on the subject of injuries. What are the 19 things that you need to know if you've been injured in an accident in Tennessee or Mississippi? Well, one of them is the amount of money that you're entitled to if your car is totally damaged in the accident. How is it determined? Well, the law says that you're entitled to what is called fair market value. What is fair market value? That's the amount of money that a willing buyer is willing to pay a willing seller for a vehicle in your market. So, how is, how is this discovered? Well, of course, the insurance company uh, has a guide that indicates the fair market value of your particular make, model, and year vehicle. So in order to add to that value, in order to add to that price that they've come up with, there are a couple of things you can do. One is you can look for the sale of your particular vehicle in your market. And if you can show on uh, Craigslist or some other uh, used car uh, dealership that your vehicle is actually for sale at a higher price than what they're offering you, you might be able to get more money for your car. A second thing you can do is to show that you have added value to your car. Perhaps you bought new tires. Perhaps you have a new transmission. Perhaps you have a rebuilt engine. All of these things add value. So if you can show an invoice or a receipt for your payment of any of these items, that's going to entitle you to more money from the insurance company for your vehicle. Your sentimental attachment to the vehicle, that is the length of time you've had the vehicle and how often you drive it and how much you love it, that has nothing to do with fair market value. Now, a problem that some people face is when the value of their car is actually less than the amount of money they still owe on the car. We're talking about cars that are financed. And you know that uh, many times uh, a vehicle that's in an accident uh, within the first year or two of repayment turns out to be worth less than the amount of the note. Unfortunately, the amount of the note has, the amount that's the balance on your note has nothing to do with fair market value. So unless you have what's called gap insurance, you're going to end up with less money than you actually owe. So a little tip, if you're going to finance a car, get gap insurance so you don't get in that situation. All right, that's David Gordon, personal injury attorney in Memphis, Tennessee. I've given you some tips about ways to maximize your property damage claim. If you like what you're learning in these talks, subscribe. Let us know so that we can make sure you get our future talks. And if there's anything you think we can help you with regarding an injury, give us a call. The discussion is free. I'm glad to talk to you to see if I can help you to see if it's something our office can do for you. Let us know. We want to hear from you. Until next time.